Breaking news, William Zapata has turned down a possible fight with Javante Tank Davis. They've been trying to make this fight for possibly uh, six to seven months now. William Zapata is an undefeated 135-pounder. is the top contender right now in three or four weight classes. Um, I think he's a top contender in everything but the IBF right now. Um, he's a possible contender. He, he can fight a title eliminator for uh, Lomachenko. He could fight for uh well he can actually be no more contender for uh, he's no more contender for uh Tank Davis and um Shakur Stevenson with Esau Cruz I I think possibly being uh ranked ahead of him on one of those sanctioned bodies but right now he's turned down that fight with Javante Tank Davis uh after thinking possibly over the time he hasn't really um I don't know I don't know if it was a money issue or. Just a timing issue, but he's decided to go in the direction as far as with uh to get a fight with Lomachenko or uh Cambosa's winner. So he's possibly gonna fight Maxi Hughes coming up. We just don't know a date yet. Right now they're trying to target it for uh in March. because uh, the Cambosas and Lomachenko fight will be in April, so right now it's coming down to uh possibly, you know, Isak Cruz and William, William, William Zapata is not an option for uh, Javante Davis right now. I told you, you guys last week that uh, William, William Zapata was a dark horse. Well, I said two weeks ago William Zapata was a dark horse candidate for uh, Javante Davis with him being a, a highly ranked contender in those weight classes and his team having talks for nearly, what, six to seven, eight months about that fight. And for nothing to come out of it, uh, Zapata is going to another direction. But we know that uh, Tank Davis right now is exploring all options. He's going through the ranking system correctly. So uh, if we if we don't want to see these kind of options, we kind of have to blame the uh, sanctioned bodies at this point because he's basically doing everything he's asked as far as uh, picking a certain fighters. But at this time right now... Uh, I feel like with Zapata, I mean, for him, that's probably the best move. I don't feel like he's really a good style matchup. Uh, as far as with Maxi Hughes and um, if he possibly wins that. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of weird because you got to think about it. Like, I know Tank Davis would, and his team wouldn't possibly explore a fight with uh, Zapata all these months. Just for them to say, well, we want to go another direction. You know what I'm saying? I'm pro I'm pretty sure they was thinking uh, him and Esau Cruz. But then over time, they probably just didn't see any um, of the same kind of value in a rematch with they, as they would see in um, possible other fights. And you still want to kind of uh, keep your market kind of high. So... You also want to um, listen to the fan base as well because those are the ones who want to uh, promote the fight and market it and talk about it. So you kind of want to lean towards, I feel like Tank's going to lean towards uh, something the fans would like on this fight, but uh, William Zapata, he's going to fight Maxi Hughes. And Maxi Hughes is a guy who just lost the belt to uh, Kim Bozes last year. And that's definitely someone that um, is basically in a position now where he can um, fight a guy like either put himself in a position for a rematch or possibly fight for a belt, but he would have to win this next fight against the Fader. The Fader is a hard fighter. Um, he's going to be tough. He's going to be tough. But it's going to be possibly one of the hardest fights the Fader's had so far. I think it would be the hardest fight the Fader's had so far. That's why I was kind of iffy on the Fader thing because I'm kind of like, if he takes the fight, his promoter wanted to take the fight, but I don't think he wanted to take the fight. Honestly. It's just my opinion. Because y'all see what Oscar... Oscar don't have no problem putting his fighter in a fight, bro. That's what y'all got to realize. Y'all... Y'all want to sit up here and say... Oscar had no problem throwing Canelo in the fire, young. He's had no problem throwing... Um, Ryan in the fire, young. So, y'all got to look at history, bro. I be trying to tell y'all that. But Zapata was an option. Oscar wanted him to take that fight. But I don't think he wanted to take it, man. Zapata hasn't really, um, even when uh, Frank Martin just said to uh, Zapata, I'll fight you. Y'all remember when Zapata said that? When I reported that a couple of weeks ago? 
that Frank Martin was calling out Zepeda? That he wanted to fight? You remember when I said that? I said, if that, don't, if that fight doesn't happen, it could be possibly... At first, I thought it was Eastside Cruz because, you know, Tank was kind of bringing his name up. But I felt like that was kind of the... Uh, check the temperature and see what, what guys were um, were actually at as far as um, wanting to fight or as far as the media and the fans. And when they seen the reaction, it kind of was like, ah, oh, well, we just kind of back off from that. And with the Zapata fight, they, t they, they kind of wanted to explore that option all the way, but they just didn't want to make it happen. It just... It's not something they're really interested in as far as the pay. I know Oscar De La Hoya was uh, interested in the fight. He was very interested in the fight. Um, he doesn't want to fight. He would He would rather it's the pay to, uh, If Oscar had to pick, from what I'm hearing, Oscar would rather it's the pay to fight um, Tank than he would fight Shakur. Because he feel like that, that would possibly be a bad style matchup for Zepeda on both ends, but you'll get more value fighting out of fighting Tank. Because he's a bigger name. And people haven't really looked down on Ryan because he lost on lost the Tank. It seems like everybody who loses the Tank, they get a, they get treated better than guys who wins fights for, in other divisions. Look at Roly and uh, Ryan. They lost the Tank and people just kiss the ground they walk on. Somebody else loses in boxing, their career over with. They got to retire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. They, they got the right names for them, man. They fans, obviously, because they turning from the ceiling. But uh, Zepeda, he 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 didn't he don't want to test himself right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, at this time right now, with Zepeda, if he tries to get in the ring with Lomachenko later on this year, bro, you're going to have trouble with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? With the angles and stuff like that, you're going to have trouble with that. Just me personally. It's going to be a hard fight all around, but if that's the direction he wants to go, he kind of wants to not get uh, Shakir Stevenson and all these guys. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, But that's definitely some uh, news to me. I'm like, wow. So, Zepeda's not going to accept the Tank Davis fight? And then, so what else is going to happen? Are we going to have a situation where now, because this is what goes on, because a lot of people like to say, well, guys don't fight other um, other sanctioned bodies. I mean, not other sanctioned bodies, other promotional companies. But then, when you do go fight a guy in another promotional company, he'll say, well, no, I want to fight a certain guy. I want to fight a certain champion. Like, the fact that Zapata had that many options and what champions he get to choose to fight, that's crazy. He could have chose Lomachenko, Shakur, or Tank. He gets his pick of the litter. But, you know, he said instead of going directly into a championship fight with Tank or Shakur, when he ain't got to fight no title eliminator, he's like, oh, I'll fight a title eliminator so I can get a chance at Lomachenko. Now. Not a guarantee, a chance. Like, oh, that's crazy. But it is what it is. It'll be a mandatory, so it'll be a guarantee you have a chance at the belt. But, yeah, a lot of these guys don't want no smoke. Put him on the don't smoke. He don't want no smoke list. None at all. None at all. Respect to Eastside Cruz for even wanting to rematch, though. See, he'll go in there because he know he, I ain't going to get embarrassed. These other dudes, that's why I laid off Eastside Cruz. I'm like, bro, let me chill on Eastside Cruz, bro, because... You got guys like Williams and Payton, and y'all got to realize Eastside Cruz is still very young. He was young when he fought Tank. He's, he, you know, he's still young now, but he was even younger then. So, but that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.